In this XD video, we're going to look at more ways to work with your graphics. So we're going to talk about masks, blurs, gradients, and drop shadows. So let's get started on masking this profile photo. So I've simply drawn an ellipse, and I'm going to import in the profile photo I'm going to use. So like we talked about in last video, we can just straight import JPEGs, and as you can see, this one is huge. So we'll just use a little shift, kind of get this down to a closer size. So I'm going to zoom in at this point. And so now I have my image and I have my ellipse that this is going to go into. And so I want my photo to actually be behind the ellipse. So I can select that photo, do object, arrange, and I'm just going to send it backward. I can also grab my ellipse, object arrange, and then bring that to the front. So I'm going to select both of these with just shift and click, then I'll go to object, mask with shape. And you can see that photo fits in there. Now if I want to kind of organize this a little bit, get it better, I can just double click, fit that back into the frame and now we've masked an object with the shape. Our next step is to look at some blurs and how and why would we want to do that. So let's go back up to our splash screen. And so let's just say I just feel that this background is just a little bit um, too dominant. So over in my appearance panel, I can click the selection box next to background blur and then I can drop down to object blur and you can see it's blurring that photo and I can set how much of a blur I want on that photo. Next let's go back to our profile page and let's say that I'm not really wild about this gray background fill. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So to do that I'm just going to go over to my fill chip, click that in the appearance panel. Instead of solid color I'm going to choose a linear gradient and this is my current linear gradient. I'm going to actually have it go from this green to this green. And those are just two colors that I have in my color palette. I could choose any of these colors around here as well. And so just adding a subtle gradient gives it a little design element. I can also add drop shadows. So if I select this image, and select shadow. You can see I've added just a nice little shadow to that and it's added across that entire repeat grid. So that's another advantage of doing that repeat grid. So that is masking, blurring, gradients, and shadows.